Oh. Wouldn't it be weird if our nipples were different sizes, like massively, like the one on the left had a nine inch circumference and the one on the right had a half inch circumference? You just got some big nips. Shaka. <laughs> To our stupid directors, it's up Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. content. Thanks, I'm Hatred Bros. So we can't read the bugs in the gift. But bang! It's on for huge channel in the description below. It's nip time. Today, we are reacting to a new trailer. Yes. Uh, dropped its Tapsy Panu. Oh, good. Uh, and uh, Vikrant Messi. Oh, yes. Cool. Uh, and say, um, Harsh Farden. And this is called. Hasin Dilruba. Ah, this is what I haven't been looking at when she posts it on Instagram. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it says... In the it sucks. I see their posts so often. Like when Family Man first started to come on and everything on Minaj's page was about that. I'm like, oh, dang it. I can't look at that. The, this is the little description under the trailer. The gruesome death of a man rocks a small town and casts a shadow of suspicion on his wife. Is she an innocent victim as she claims? Or... Is she the mastermind behind a cold, calculated murder? What really happened? Nothing is as it seems in this unpredictable tale of love, seduction, and deception. This is the ultimate conspiracy. <laughs> that's, that's, I like that. Hold on, Khan? Is, yeah, Khan conspiracy. Is this related to the film Khan that we watched with uh, uh, Manoj Bajbai? Maybe. Or Dost? Uh, could be. Uh, I don't know. Okay. And uh, we need to watch another Topsy. I miss Topsy. We it's it's been a while. We, we, we knocked out a couple of like three of hers in the span of a month yeah. when we Let's first started the, the channel. Next Topsy should be. We love Topsy. Maybe it's this one. Here we go. You have to Oh, wow. Looks different. <laughs> <laughs> he does look very different. This has the sense of humor, passion, not you, to be chilling. It's very direct. <laughs> Amal Oh. Looks good. Looks good. Looks very good. Yeah. Uh, you know Topsy's going to take it to another level too. Because I know just knowing her from social media and all that kind of stuff and, and the types of roles she likes. I feel like she she likes to pick different type of roles and stories yeah. that that aren't the norm. Yeah. Um, uh, in in Bollywood. I'd like to know what that expression was about when she was looking at the burning charred remains. She actually looked pleased. That was a great well, takeaway. She might have done it. 
Uh, it's so it's a under investigation of Sutton Murray's husband arrives was the thorny marriage that seemed to only further blur the truth. All right. Directed so, by Vino Mathu. Vino Mathu. I don't recognize his name. Uh, but you know, Tops is great, but so did Vikrant. Yeah, he looked, he looked really good. He, at first I didn't pick up it was him. Yeah, the, he had got a thick beard in this one, mm -hmm. but he always brings such a vulnerability to to his roles. Uh, and I, I like him a lot. And he obviously does also like picking more unique yeah. style roles as well. He, he seems like one of those uh, actors who's who's a real thespian. Mm -hmm. he, it wouldn't surprise me if he did have theater background yeah. before he became a, a, a star. I don't know if what was... It, was Death in the Country before music? As far as when they were made or when we watched them? Made. I, I want to say it was, yes. Death and, in the and, Country was before music? I think it was. Okay. I think it was. I don't know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. I don't um, know what made him famous, um, but it wouldn't surprise me if he did have some theater background. Yeah, me too. And I... Obviously, this is going to be a story like a, a thriller who's done it kind of a thing where you're going to believe it's her for a while, and then maybe it could have been this guy that she seems to have had an affair with, and then maybe it was something that the husband did to himself to get back at her. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe there's another twist to the story. That's my hope. I'll tell you what, the trailer leads me to believe we're going to get some kind of a payoff at the end that's going to be a, a oh my goodness. So if it doesn't have an oh my goodness in the end, I'll probably be a little disappointed. Yeah. Um, what film does she have with Anyarag coming up? Topsy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there it is. Dubara. 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 Because I, you know, I follow both of them on, on Instagram, and I've seen them post a lot about it. It says it's coming out in 2021. Swash? No, okay. Is it even in, but is it in production? Well, yeah, it doesn't matter what IMDb Pro says. No, it doesn't. Is this the... Oh, that's Bob! Oh, it is! Yeah, so she's doing a film with Anurag, Bob, and I can't... Uh, Swas, Swasata. It's a Swasa Chatterjee. It's a Swasa Chatterjee. Swasa Chatterjee. Yes. Chatterjee. Will forever be known as Bob. Bob, uh, from Kahani. Kahani. Uh, so, so, yeah, I, I knew... She, and I think they're so already signed on for, for another one. Um, they seem like... They seem like the type that, that would really like working with each other. <laughs> Makes just, sense. It just they, they both like good storytelling. And then she also has a cricket one coming up. Oh. Uh, which, Shabash. If it's anything like 83, it'll get delayed two years. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's not the one. Like, I swear, man, that film has still not come out. But yeah, looks really good. I would totally uh, watch this when it comes out. It seems like there's a lot of good films, but once again, they're all OTT platformed. Um, did, it, did, did In the Heights get a theatrical release, or does that go straight to... I think it's in, I think it's it's in the theater. theaters, I too. I think it's in today. Okay, yeah, I knew it released. I think it was today. But I think, I think it's doing the duel. It's, it is. It's online, and it's in theaters. So you can, which, yeah. which I like a lot. Because even if it was in a pandemic right now, I have one and a half year old, I can't. Like, <laughs> he, can't, he does not sit through films <laughs> and so i was able to watch cruella because you of did, uh, because you, of that i agree i've always felt like you should release them on the platforms and release them in theaters because the theater lovers like us yeah we're gonna go to the theater and support it as yeah. often as possible you but charge the same amount yeah exactly charge the same amount <laughs> like I, people like scoff at it but like if i was going to a theater i'd pay that amount no and it's like somebody like i've hurt my back before and I couldn't even get to a theater would have loved to have been able to see a new release from home because I literally can't get to the theater because I'm in pain yeah yeah so like I think it was like $30 for Cruella which would actually be cheaper than taking three people to the movies here in California yeah but <laughs> yep whatever so yeah <laughs> yeah anyways looking forward to seeing uh, this so yeah this looks good uh, let us know what should be the next Topsy Panu film that we should I thought I know a lot of people really enjoyed yeah uh, that we haven't gotten to yet so let us know what should be the next yeah <laughs> <laughs>